Welcome to Al Stock Trades. In this video, we're going to go ahead and do a stock analysis on the company called Figs. Now, I know a lot of physicians and healthcare providers watch your channel, so you may already know of this company. For people that don't, this company has literally worked their butt off to literally create and dominate a brand in the healthcare setting. Regardless of whatever hospital you go into, you are going to find these particular scrubs. And the way I like to think of them is it is literally the Lululemon of the healthcare, you know, ability to essentially uh, dress yourself in the healthcare setting. As I am a medical student, I find it that it is a very conservative specialty. It's one of those uh, specialties where, unfortunately, you really have to, you know, think a little twice before you wear something. And these scrubs have have become kind of the dominating factor of one's level of expressing themselves through different variety of colors, let alone their ability to be very comfortable in a 12 hour shift. So we're going to go ahead and do a price target analysis and we're going to see where exactly is this company going based off of the fundamentals. Now, uh, very quickly, we do have a link down below for our free stock screen screener. We screened this back on um, December uh, 11th. Uh, so if you guys want to see exactly, you know, how billionaires search for companies based on criterias that are uh, from fundamentals, uh, you can put your email down here and we'll send it off to you. Now, let's go ahead and let's start. So a lot of stocks that retail investors own, unfortunately, are dominated by retail investors themselves, meaning that the price fluctuates so rapidly to a point where there isn't an inherent uh, base. Now, what's interesting with FIGS is that they're owned 77% by institutions already early this on in their career in Wall Street. And they're owned by 23% of insiders within the company, okay? Now, if we were to basically look at all of the legendary investors with inside of FIGS, you might notice some names. I highlighted names that you may have heard on the media, like, for example, Ray Dalio, Jim Simmons, or George Soros. But don't be fooled by th you know names that are not highlighted, like, for example, Paul Jones, you know, he is worth around $7.5 billion. But overall, I see these legendary investors investing within this company. And it has been a constant theme since June 30th of 2021, when George Soros first established his position or September 30th of 2021, when Ray Dalio established his position. So going over to the financials, we can basically see that revenue has been increasing. But what's interesting here is the gross margins are in the you know, 70% range, which is incredible for a company starting out like this. Net income, they just recently hit profitability. And if you look at book value per share, they've increased it from 25 cents to $1.77. Again, this is an early stage company and they haven't even gone into international areas like what Lululemon has done, right? They're literally focused in the US markets. Now, if you go in and take a look at free cash flow, they're still working on that. But yet again, what's interesting here is they were free cash flow positive. And if you were to multiply the revenue by 5%, you won't get 64 million. You would get a lower number than that, which means that they're able to make more free cash flow from the money that's coming in. So we're going to do an undervalued intrinsic value calculation from a 10% revenue multiple from the past two years, given that. I don't I, um, I don't speculate them to go into uh, back to hundred million dollars uh, while you know people that buy scrubs, they tend to buy you know they're gonna have lifelong customers, okay? So if you go ahead and take a look through our Al stock alerts platform, which searches the um, top investor top analysts that give out price targets, you can see an analyst price target consensus of a low of eight dollars a median of $11 and a high of $32 with a target consensus of $16.2. Uh, uh, so overall, you can basically see that we have a, uh, when doing an intrinsic value calculation, you basically have with a 15% growth rate, you have a stock price hovering anywhere between $6 to $9, right? You have a um, 
uh, with a 20% growth rate, you have a stock price anywhere between $9 to $12. And a 25% growth rate, you have a stock price going anywhere between $12 and $18. So overall, if you look at the price targets as a whole, what we're doing here, and if you haven't seen anything like this, is that we're going 10 years into the future, discounting back to to today's present value and essentially turning the stock into a bond to find out what is its worth. And as of right now, I feel like the market is pricing this accordingly. And the question is, can they sustain their revenue growth in the next five to 10 years? So this is some, some a company that we should definitely take a look at and something to uh, look into here. So in terms of the question that I got, are you aware of the class action uh, uh, against figs and how do you think it'll affect them? You know, there's a lot of lawsuits that companies face on a regular basis. And at the end of the day is will this, you know, class action lawsuit, will it hinder them from selling to, you know, essentially uh, um, clients? You know, will it affect the underlining fundamentals of their business in terms of clients wanting their scrubs? You know, in fact, if you were to go two years ago, uh, Ricky, if you were to go two to three years ago, this company actually became under scrutiny by the healthcare providers themselves. There was a sexist comment that was made, and a lot of uh, medical students, physicians were like, We're not going to support this company. But yet again, if you look at the intrinsic value and the fundamentals, the company has consistently grown. And also, if you look at Ray Dalio, why did Ray Dalio on September 30th? add more to his um, you know, uh, um, position, right? So overall, I, I do not see it. I do not see them, in my humblest opinion, them getting affected. But overall, I do believe that uh, we are in the beginning stages of this company. And I feel like I would be doing the YouTube community a disservice if we did not at least put a fingerprint on there, uh, you know, on the YouTube search uh, uh, um, section for if people do search this stock. I do believe it's a great stock. I do believe the company is wonderful. And let me know what you guys think uh, based off of my analysis down below. All right. I'll see you on the next one.